Hello Explorer. thanks for joining us again, welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you have found some time to have checked our previous videos, if you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we are visiting the country Botswana. For those of you who don't know Botswana or have never heard about it, you will know Botswana as never seen before in this episode. So without any more delay, we shall just go straight into it. With regards to Botswana, Botswana is a landlocked country in Southern Africa. It is bordered by Namibia, South Africa and also Zimbabwe, with an estimated area size of just over 582,000 square kilometers. The country is slightly larger than a country like France or slightly smaller when you compare to different states in the United States uh, like Texas. Moving forward, approximately two-thirds of the country lies within the tropics. Botswana is well known for having some of the best wilderness and also wildlife areas on the African continent. About 37% of its total land area are devoted to national parks, reserves and also wildlife management areas. The country is sparsely populated because of up to 70% of the country is covered by the Kalahari Desert. The vast arid to semi-arid landscape in Southern Africa covering much of Botswana and part of Namibia and Southern Africa. Botswana's population is just over 2 point something million people uh, based on uh, the previous statistics. Its concentration is in the eastern part of the country. It is an interesting country. Botswana is one of the major players when you consider a country in Africa that has emerged and moving forward in the 21st century. If you are new to a Explorer, we will encourage you to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you never miss a video. With regards to this amazing African nation, Botswana was formerly the British protectorate of uh, called Boshunt Natalan. Botswana adopted its new name upon independence in 1966. The economy, one of the most robust on the continent of Africa, is dominated uh, by diamond mining. Botswana also has flourishing multi-party constituent democracy, which you could also just compare that to uh, the Republic of Ghana. Each of the elections since independence has been freely and fairly contested and has been held on schedule. The country's small white minority, if you won't put it that way, and other minorities participate freely in the political process. The country has a very attractive and interesting uh, culture. Tourism is an increasingly important industry in Botswana, accounting for uh, almost uh, 12 point something percent of the GDP, one of the world's unique ecosystems. The Okavanga Delta is located in Botswana. The country offers excellent game viewing and also birds both in the Delta and also the Chobe Game Reserve for those of you who have been to Botswana. It's a home to uh, one of the largest herds of free-ranging elephants in the world. Botswana's Central Kalahari Game Reserve also offers good game viewing and also some of the most remote and unspoiled wilderness in Southern Africa. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to turn the notification button and subscribe for more informative content. With regards to its geography, to understand more a little bit this, about this amazing African country, Botswana, which we've talked about as it's located in, in Africa and in northern southern African part, uh, having its own terrain, desert terrain and savanna, predominantly flat uh, to gentle rolling, uh, Tabul and Kalahari Desert in the south. The climate is mostly subtropical, warm winters and also hot summers for those of you who have been there before. The people, uh, nationality also called Motswana, which is Singh and Boswana and uh, Boswana, so to pronounce in that way. We've talked about uh, its population. There are different ethnic groups in Boswana. This include the Swana, or the Suswana people, which are 79%. You do have the Kalanga, that makes 11%. You have the Kalangadi, and the Heroro, and also the Bayaye, Himbukush, and the Basawa, 
uh, we call the Bushmen, you want to put it in that way for to better clarification. You have the Koi, the Hotendus, and you have Whites that are over 10%. Religions in Botswana, Christians have 60% of the population, Indigenous beliefs also do have 40%. The language spoken in Botswana is officially uh, the its official language is English. You do have the Seswana in Kalahanga, and also, if you talked about the, the literacy rate in this particular country in Africa, it's just over 68% uh, moving forward. For those of you who want to understand a little bit more about uh, the interesting part in the agricultural aspect in Botswana, the country does produce livestock, maize, millet, beans, sunflower, granite, and a whole lot of other uh, crops. Also, the natural resources in Botswana include diamond, copper, nickel, salt, soda, ash, potash, potash so to say, coal and iron ore, and also silver. It is an interesting country. Its different industries include diamond, copper, uh, soda, ash, and also livestock processing. It does export copper to different countries, soda, ash, meat, and textile. Export partners for Botswana include South Africa principally, uh, which has just over 85%, and also you have China, the United Kingdom, uh, Zimbabwe, and also there are different very interesting imports that the country got. Imports foodstuff from different nations uh, to expand itself. Understanding a little bit more about the economy of Botswana, Botswana has since independence in 1966. Botswana has transformed, for those of you who care to understand a little bit more with regards to the Botswana amazing transformation. It's transformed from one of the poorest countries in the world to a middle-income country. It is the diamonds mining that has fueled much of the expansion and currently accounts for one quarter of GDP, GDP so to say. Tourism is another main pillar of Botswana's economy. But many Botswanans are still engaged in subsistence farming and cattle rearing. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The country does have transportation networks as well. Um, you do have a uh, different aspect in the banking sector is very advanced as well. Also, tourism boards are very advanced. The country also have education systems, official sites that enables you, like University of Botswana, um, University that's found in Gaborone, for those of you who don't know, and it's a very interesting nation. They do have a wide history, and it's an important part. Visiting this part of Africa, it's always wise for you to go a little bit more to understanding what makes Botswana so unique and uh, not just because of its tourism, but again, the country has some very interesting attractions. For those of you who have been to uh, its capital, it is a city that will amaze you from uh, your entrance for the first time. Also, Botswana has been an envy for some regional countries based on its uh, peace and tranquility in different areas. The country does have its own challenges, um, the, with regards to the unemployment and social issues which has impacted its growth in several areas. But again, Botswana is moving forward and it's a country that's lately talked about but it does know not just for its um, amazing game reserves and its territorial uh, invites in different areas but it's a country that has been a force to reckon with in a whole lot of areas. So it's one of the countries that has made the African continent proud in different ways, not just because of its peace and tranquility in its democratic systems, but also um, it's building its economy, it's moving forward, building on its attractions, and also uh, making sure that it stamp itself and become a major player, not just within the African continent, but within its global connection. We want to thank you for watching this episode with us and with our visit to Botswana. Hopefully, you've learned something with regards to uh, understanding this amazing African nation. Thanks very much for watching. If you are new here, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. If you feel we've left something out with regards to talking about Botswana, we would like to hear from you. But if you think that we were spot on, we would also like to hear from the comment section. For now, thanks very much. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. So have a good day. Bye-bye.